This is the chilling view tonight from Darby Flynn's balcony. Down there you can see some police cars. There's investigators as well as um, kind of regular cops. The famed La Rambla, normally a busy hotspot for tourists and locals alike, closed off and shut down. The life knocked out of it. Usually crazy busy. There's so many people. It's very strange right now, but I can see these gold metallic bags out on the street below, and I was told that that's where um, the dead people were. Roughly an hour before the carnage began, the 40-year-old Pollock Pines woman was among those here, walking, shopping, and sightseeing. After leaving to eat, she returned to find it in chaos. Was it still chaotic at that time? They're still cordoning off everything, and you could see people coming out, and obviously people weren't allowed in. Lots of ambulances were coming by. Even when I was walking towards it, I saw a whole lot of ambulances. The faces to her left and right, revealing the horror they just witnessed. Mostly, I think they're in shock. I saw some people definitely crying and talking to police, trying to figure out where their loved ones were. As she waited with them, unable to return to her hostel, the reality that she was nearly among the dozens down on the other side of the tape set in. Oh, I absolutely could have been one of the victims. I honestly just feel really lucky that I didn't get hurt and that even though I'm right here in this area that I was out of harm's way. Flynn plans to continue her travels in Spain and other parts of Europe. Despite the close call, she says she doesn't want to leave or somehow punish the area whose economy depends on foreign tourists.